If I have to sum it up in like a short little sentence, it would be a year of change. Hi everyone and welcome to Clean Up With Kelly. Don't mind my hair, it's been kind of a crazy day. I just wanted to jump on here and kind of just talk about 2018 and going into the new year. Actually, I just feel like I need to catch up. I know the past few weeks I haven't been posting like I usually do and that is because it's been, you know, Christmas and had family over and traveling and all that. So it is a, it's a fun but very busy time and so I wanted to enjoy those moments. YouTube can be very busy. It can take over sometimes so I'm trying to balance that out and you know I did take a break kind of and you know it was nice. It was kind of like a reset trying to kind of focus on what I want to do next year. With that said 2018 has been an interesting year. Some good, some bad, a lot of changes. I started off 2018 with a newborn. You know the challenges with a newborn the first three months can be very difficult, but we got through it. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but it definitely was was not easy. We we got through that and everything was good. And then we had to move. We had to move out of our house that we've been renting for a few years. Thank God we were able to buy our first house this year and it just worked out perfectly. We did have to move twice, which was a little bit of a challenge with a little little one. We lived in an apartment for maybe a month or so and then we were able to move into our home. A lot of new stuff that happened this year. I think after I had my daughter I was dealing with being a stay-at-home mom which was a totally new concept for me. I've been working for a long time probably since I was like 12 to 15 in some way so it was a definite huge adjustment and I think I think what helped me the most was getting some help you know at least like having someone to talk to just not letting this depression just beat me down I did get through that and I feel a ton better and I just want to say if any of you are have ever gone through that or if you're going through it now um, it definitely makes a huge difference to talk to someone, whether it be a therapist, someone in your church, a family member, a friend, just getting your feelings out there and knowing that what you're feeling is valid and that you need to express your express yourself and not just hold it in, which I have done pretty much my whole life. <laughs> that has helped and then starting YouTube getting over that fear. I've been wanting to do YouTube for probably over a decade. It wasn't always, you know, the type of channel that I have now. I've always wanted to do it and I finally got over that fear and I did it and I'm so glad that I have. I met so many wonderful friends and it's just been a wonderful creative outlet for me and I love it. So since starting YouTube, I've probably pretty much been posting like three or four times a week. I slowed down in December. It's just a very tough time to do everything with the holidays and um, I really wanted to spend that time with family and actually just be there and enjoy it and I did and it was great. So my plans for 2019, I'm wanting to post maybe three times a week, um, at least twice a week. I still want to do the same type of videos that I have been doing. I do want to add in more like workout or fitness weight loss videos as well so I might do like a vlog once a week with just that as the focus. Let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see. It's something I'm really passionate about and I want to bring that to my channel as well. I will be making a video of my story so far. Right now I'm a little more than halfway through to my goal um, so I just want to share that with you. It'll be a long video. Other things I want to do next year, I would love to do more collabs. I really enjoy doing collabs, especially it gets me, it definitely gets the fire going because I, I don't want to let you down and I have to make that video and the other great part is just communicating with you and getting to know the person I'm collabing with and watching your videos. So I love doing that. Um, if I've done a collab with you before, you know, let me know in 2019 if you want to do another one or if you haven't done one with me message me I'll have I'll have everything linked below my email and everything so if you want to collab with me contact me and I would love to do that with you I think it is a great way to keep the community growing and 
I think it's one of my favorite parts about doing YouTube for sure. But 2018, you know, it was it was a pretty good year. If I have to sum it up in like a short little sentence, it would be, I'd probably describe it as a year of change and just every way possible. I'm looking forward to 2019, continuing this whole YouTube and everything. I just, I'm so glad I started. I want to wish you all a wonderful New Year's Eve. I hope you have fun and a safe night. I'll probably just be up till nine and then going to bed. And I will see you guys next year. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Twenty something years ago, those cold nights in December, and the sound of the falling snow, the fireplace warming us, the VHS movie bus.